Hey Libra, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we're going to do your mid-December quick read. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So for all of the new viewers, I'm an intuitive tarot card reader. This means I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I always charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pups. In doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for your reading, and also meditate over the collective energy. So again, this reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And as always, I hope everyone is doing well. Excuse me. So what I'm going to tell you, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Bugaboo by Destiny's Child. I will leave the link to the song below in the description box so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. So I'm going to tell you when I was doing a pre-shuffle, I kept getting fire sign cards. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo, Sag, Aries, some moon rising Venus individual. And also I feel like during this current, because this is the last fire sign season of the year, during Sag season, there's going to be some type of ending because I also seen the death card. That's Major Arcana. Um, Major Arcana, the death card also resonates with Scorpio. So some of you guys can be dealing with a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual also. And then now also I'm picking up that something could have happened in Scorpio season that triggered, you know, trickled over into Sag season. Okay, so let's see what we get for you. Also with the um, quick reads, the way I'm going to do this, I'm changing up a little bit because I'm kind of getting tired of the platform. I'm a Gemini sun, so I get tired of repetitive things and also I got a message to do this this way because I know it I feel like I want to put you guys in your highest vibration put you on your own pedestal so the way I do a quick reads now is going to be I'm going to base it off of your major icon card okay so your card will be the justice so we're going to go using a justice card I'm about to give you an example okay so it's always both of the decks are completely upright there are no reversals so there we go. So I'm looking for a major arcana. So here you have the major arcana. This is for Aries and also Aquarius. So the way that the quick reads will go is the first card before the major arcana and the first card after the major arcana would be the energies for your reading. So say if this was for Aries or an Aquarius, these would be the two cards that I'm going to read for you. So when we get the justice card, your major arcana, whatever card comes before and whatever card comes after it will be the energies for your reading. You get what I'm saying? You guys got it. Okay, so let's see what we get for you guys today. I'm going to shuffle it just one time. I already shuffled it prior to the reading a couple times, but just when I put that out, I wanted to um, I wanted to do, you know, shuffle it again because I kind of feel like <laughs> I just seen the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. So this is definitely having to do with a couple, even if it's not a fire sign, but it's something to do for you to have a pair of the same pair, right? A couple, a king and a queen in the same pair. This is about relationships for a lot of you all. But, um, you know, I always also, mm, okay, king and queen, that's a leader, a supervisor, a boss. So something as far as your money also. Yeah, and I did pick that up earlier. I feel like something with your money has shifted either in Scorpio season, starting off a Scorpio season, and it's going to continue to go on from Sag season. But I feel like Sag season is going to be like the highlight of that situation, okay? So now we're just going to part it and find your card. We are looking, look at, whew, wow, first of all, look at how this is starting off. Major Arcana Sag, and I said something with Sag season. Look at the next card. Yeah, something with finances for you guys for sure. Something in Sag season, and it's going to be positive because right before that, you have the star card. Something that you were hoping, wow, something that you were hoping and wishing for and you manifested. Major Arcana, Major Arcana, Major Arcana. The Magician, this is something that you've been manifesting for a while. Wow, okay. Holy shit. Okay. So you have your card. Okay. And what did I say? The first cards right next to it. Mm hmm. Okay. So the very first card you have is the three of swords. Mm hmm. Yeah. And right before that, ten of swords. Okay. And I said some of you guys are dealing with relationship stuff. Okay. So you have the three of swords and then a magician. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo because you have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. And then you have Gemini with Magician and also Virgo. So some of you guys are dealing with a love relationship involving an air sign. Some type of heartbreak. And then also some of you all are getting some type of just rewards when it comes to your um, abundance. Something that you've been working on quite hard for a long time. Trying to manifest some type of change in abundance. And I like that. 
This three of swords, I feel like is a past energy. Could definitely have to do with a Virgo also. Because again, you got Gemini and Virgo here. This is predominantly Taurus, but you do have Virgo there. And Virgo is also Pentacles. So let's get your clarifiers for the three of swords and the magician. Now with these cards, okay. And look at that, the very first card is a wand. So yeah, Leo says Aries for some of you all. But these cards, they're all completely upright. But there will be, um, wow, there will be reversals. <laughs> you have this King of Pentacles again. So again, some of you guys are definitely dealing with the Earth sign as well. Possible Taurus, Virgo, specifically what I'm picking up. Also, if you have a manager or supervisor who is a Cap uh, Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, I feel like they may have stabbed you in the back or some type of write-up or some type of termination that you weren't expecting because you got along with this person and you didn't see it coming. For some of you all. For others, it's definitely love. But like I said, it's something with money. You have the Six of Wands going in the direction of Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So for some of y'all, it's definitely money. And for others who are involved with a earth sign, love interest, it's like, you know... It didn't pan out the way that you wanted to, but I'm going to say this again. Any king or queen in reverse is someone who is a negative person, someone who's a shady person, someone who's taking their power to their head, someone who's abusing their power. Because, you know, a king and a queen, they rule a kingdom. And then have him in reverse, and then you have the seven of pentacles. You know, this is someone who's not working. He's not putting in the energy, effort, and work. Actually, you see there, he's eyeballing those dead leaves. So you could have lost some type of um, financial opportunity because of a supervisor, manager, Someone in a position of leadership has affected your finances. And if it's in regards to love, it's like if it's a spouse, a long-term partner, this partner was a bit shady. Okay. So let's get a card for your three of swords for Libra, Sun, Rise, and Venus. But this is definitely you. Okay. Because swords, you are swords. So there was some type of heartbreak in the situation. But I like this because what you when you have it right next to your own major icon, it's like things are getting balanced. You know, because you guys are Libra, Libra skills, you guys are balancing things. And I know that's the case because the next card is the magician. So you guys found a way to balance things out to work out in your favor, and that's positive. Now, back to the bugaboo song. You may have broken someone's heart because you may have cut someone off because they were just utterly annoying, is what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we have one card flip upright. What is this? Yep, nine of cups and mm, nine of cups in reverse. Clarifying. Look at that. And at the bottom of the deck, two of cups. Wow. So some of you guys definitely was dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone rising Venus. And remember, I said I've seen a death card that's Scorpio. Some type of happily ever after ended with someone. And they don't have to be a Scorpio. Like I said, it could have happened in Scorpio season. For some of you all. Or, and there could have been a loss of employment. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And Scorpio season. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So for your three of swords, you have the nine of cups in reverse. This is very telltale. Okay. So whether it's work or love, I'm telling you right now, something that you found fulfilling at one point, because the nine of cups is wish fulfillment. Getting what it is that you want is coming up in reverse. Okay. So I feel like... In regards to love, something fell apart. Something was heartbreaking. I feel like it has to do with secrets because I always say with this card, he has all these cups right here. Everything looks well off, but right behind him, there's this blue curtain. We don't know what's behind that blue curtain, so something is hidden. And I feel like in reverse, something was exposed and it caused some type of heartbreak. Someone felt stabbed in the back, stabbed in the heart, literally. And with that three there, I can't help but say this. I do feel like it's third party because the very, you know, your clarifier for the magician is the three of pentacles. So I definitely feel like there was some type of third party as far as love. Also, as far as your workplace, there may have been some type of gossip from another employee that kind of a manager or someone took someone else's word over yours is what I'm hearing. Okay. For your magician, you have the clarifier, the three of pentacles in reverse. Again, I'm going to have to say this has to do with some type of work related situation. Okay. Okay. Um, three of Pentacles is about working and building together. Pentacles, key, you know, key term. That's your money. That's your finances. So it seems like you were trying to manifest something, but it's not really going to work in your favor, or it's not, or it hasn't been working in your favor, and it hasn't been um, 
you know, this establishment that you're currently at hasn't been working for you. But the thing, the positive thing about this is think about it. Major Arcana trumps everything. So whatever didn't work in this current situation, you're manifesting something. He's literally manifesting something new. So this old stuff doesn't even matter. Now, as far as love, if you're dealing with fire sign, water sign, earth sign, I'm going to tell you right now, and for some of you guys, it's even a Gemini specifically I'm picking up. So Gemini, Leo, Sag, Aries, and then you have Taurus and Virgo, okay? Um, I'm picking up very strongly that, you know, it just couldn't work out with this individual because they may have been a bit of a player, a sneak and a manipulator. Because if you think about the magician uses his abilities and his skills to manipulate things to go in their desired direction. And that's why this situation couldn't work with you and this individual is what I'm picking up. For sure. Nonetheless, I'm going to say this again. Major Arcana trumps everything. And out of your clarifying cards, you know, you only have one Major Arcana. And so that's letting me know that you're already manifesting something. No, something, something in love didn't work for sure. For sure. Something in love didn't work. You may have put a lot of heart and soul into it. And yeah, okay. So remember I was saying that behind this curtain, you know, you don't know what's behind that curtain. So there's some type of secret. There's something hidden. And if you look right here in this three of swords, look at that. You have the moon peeking out. The moon in cards always talks about things hidden, things unknown, things we do not have clarity about. That moon is slowly but surely coming out, which means something is being exposed. And it was exposed, and that's why this is in reverse. For some of you, I was definitely regarding a water sign, very strongly a water sign. For a few, a Libra. I mean, a, Aquari a Gemini. And then for others, a Leo, Sag, Aries. I don't feel that as much as I feel Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Scorpio, very highlighted. And if it's not a Scorpio person, something happened in Scorpio season in regards to your finances and love. That's what I'm picking up for a great deal of you all. Okay. So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.